Hey everybody, welcome back. I gotta brag, okay? And if you watched on Twitch, on Wednesday, February the 8th, you saw this run. But holy cow, this Doberman run was so much fun. <laughs> I know I said I'd never made a Doberman work. We, we made it work on stream. How did it happen? Well, we got the Doberman on a level up. We sold all of our units and then just buffed it as much as we could. We had a beluga that had a reindeer inside of it. We had a level two reindeer, we had a level two monk. Man, it was a lot of fun. I'm not promising that we can, we'll be doing the same thing here. I hate it. Um, I mean, the thing is like a blueberry doesn't do anything. So what do we care? We run a frilled dragon as anti-moth, I guess. And I'll be like a rich uncle or something like that. Just, uh, I, I, I did what had to be done here given the shop that we had access to and I, I think I think it's the way we, we had to roll it I, I think the shop basically decided that we were going to lose that one I will not take a frilled dragon I will take a magpie just because it has some stats associated with it I will run a 2-5 magpie and I do not like this team but that's okay because it's, it's round 2 even if we lose this one we still got 4 life you got to play to what the shops provide for you. And the shops here have not provided us with much. But you know what? That's okay. It's early on, and it makes it that much more interesting. Maybe we're shoehorned into some kind of, like, uh, a build that is a little bit atypical. Like, for me, I would say Frilled Dragon's gone. I would say Hero Beetle at least does something. I would say Cone Snail is a potential level up in our future. And I'm not in love with what I see here. Um... I would say you could sell a base otter in the hopes of one man, no levels, huh? <laughs> it's a little surprising, but uh, in the hopes of maybe making a peacock work. Thank you, mosquito! Were it not for that, that mosquito, I thought about selling it. It just saved my life. I, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. Um, roll me. Now, when I said eternally grateful, what I meant is I would not hesitate to sell you in a heartbeat if uh, the mood strikes me. But for now, we're prioritizing getting a level up on turn five, getting a tier four unit that could possibly give us like some direction, could give us an idea of, of where we're going in the game. You got me by one. It hurts, but you know what? Thank you for your service, ex-pizza delivery driver. There's our level. We have to try Llama. And I think... I don't really want to, like, sell the Hercules Beetle. Well, it's okay. If I, if I sell you, you'll buff you and buff you. Which is two units that are likely to stick around for at least a minute. But then we do have to sell, now that I think about it, we got to sell another unit anyway. And it should be the Mosquito as, at a 3-3. At a three, three. I don't really care for blueberries. That, admittedly, like a peacock getting shot might make sense. And then we'll actually use the magpie's ability here, kind of like an avocado. We'll s spend two gold to save two gold to, to get a reroll essentially for free on the next turn. But our, our, our team sucks really bad. I'm not debating that in the slightest. Okay, okay. Honestly... Give that a chance. That was a reasonably good shop. Um, and I, I think we're getting kind of close to the area where, like, this run has no chance. <laughs> I think the, the way out of this is if we could level two our llama super fast. Or maybe, and, and I don't say this to be rude, but if we just start playing against, like, teams that are pure garbage, because they're also on one life like me, maybe we could be the best of the dung heap and then work our way out as a result of that. Like, that's important. I think you can run a Triceratops. There is a part of me that thinks you could, you could run a second Llama as well, but I would, I would not hesitate to sell our Magpie. In fact, I would sell the Magpie, though, it, though it's done something for us, to run a Rangutan. All of these units benefit from having... Uh, benefit more than average, I would say, from having some extra health. So, we are four squatted. Why would you buff yourself instead of the Triceratops? You didn't even consult the general manager before making that decision. 
Okay, no value, but but the llama went off. Okay, so now we're we're in the losers bracket. We got to win every single round to have a chance to stay alive. I'm gonna put you on top. You're gonna buff the triceratops this turn. Honestly, it makes no sense to give you a banana, but I'm gonna give you a banana. The orangutan banana makes more sense. Well, actually, now that I think of it, it's not just because primates enjoy eating potassium-rich fruits, by the way. It's because it's at the back. Okay, a small buff. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 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 you're better than me? <laughs> Surrendous news. Okay. I'm just, listen, we got two wins on that one. I'm not proud of myself. Oh, I'm not dead yet. I freaking lived. Okay. Obviously, llama scaling's important. I'm gonna give some hope to the the Triceratops. I'm gonna try to give the Triceratops a chance to accomplish something, okay? We have nothing really of value here, unfortunately. It is, you know, it's my fault, it's my fault. That's kind of amazing. I mean, if we manage to live through this round, we got we got some optics here. Peacock is slightly better. It would be lovely if they didn't have an insanely strong unit at the front, but most squads do seem to run very strong unit at the front this week. I lived. I lived. I lived. Oh my god, we're not... It's not complete despair yet. <laughs> Level me. Level me. I, I see the idea behind a tiger... The tiger would take the buff. What's taking the buff right now? A peacock's taking the buff. I think we keep rolling what we got. I thought about the tiger, but we're 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 trying something a little different. I'm not really that impressed with the triceratops, like in general. Um, just I, I don't think it's one of the strongest units like in its pack. That being said, that doesn't mean it's it's impossible to imagine a world where it accomplishes something for us. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna say, listen, there's different kinds of results in Super Auto Pets. There's 10 wins that are easy, there's 10 wins you struggle for. This was three wins that honestly, I straight up, I'd rather level up next turn. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I'm accepting my first round loss to maybe get like an early peacock. Oh, but then when we, wait, wait, we'll find out. Let me be like an overpriced, let me be like a green phantom. Sounds like it could be an A24 movie or something like that. Um, th three otters is just like a cursed setup. It's an amazing shop if it's not round one. On round one, three otters is kind of, is kind of nasty with it. I would roll. I'm going to wait till next round to get the level up. So I'm going to, I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to move you to the back. I'm going to roll one more time. We're going to get a level. We're going to... Okay. Even if we're on three life, it's okay. But what I was saying, like, on the last run, I just genuinely think that we, we didn't necessarily get shops that gave us a realistic chance of success. On this one so far, I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it started worse than expected, but don't panic yet. We're going to be one HP down. No sweat. That, that's... We can make up for that. Level me. You can try a blowfish for a minute, at least. Peacock is, is really good, too. I think the stork can go off, but... We need the spot for it, obviously. Probably blowfish should be in position, too, because I bet it dies to moths. Everybody's running moths early here. We got lucky. We got It actually made a mathematical difference. That's how lucky we got. You couldn't have asked for that to go better. Groundhog will work in position 5, by the way, in case you're, you're curious. For now, I think we want Anti-Moth. I'm doing this just because a level would be nice, and I, I can't afford to be too picky with it right now. Brother. <laughs> I want my level next turn. I don't really want to sell a Mosquito to make it happen. We'll just roll. I'm not, no, 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 no. We're not going to level further, but that's obviously good. Okay. We would love to see... I'm trying to think of what would be transformative at Tier 4. Honestly, because I'm not that in love with our squad here, I would not mind seeing a Doberman. Doberman requires you to pivot your whole squad. I think we got a little lucky there. Um, we would be content to pivot our Doberman off of this level. 
a pivot to Doberman off of this level. Okay, so this means if we're going to try Doberman, that means everything on the squad that is not a Doberman is going to go at some point. What goes first? Let's dump a Stork. It's going to take a few rounds to get it active, okay? We're going to buy a, a Doberman. The Blowfish has no future. I'm going to go ahead and say that the Mosquito has no future either. We're going to take our level, or not our level, but our, our Otter stats. And we're kind of rolling four squatted here. <laughs> I would, I, I don't necessarily think this is a great move, but at least now we have a five squad. The Doberman was not going to get the ability to begin with. Basically, we, we spent one gold amortized over two turns. Listen, I'm not even going to continue with what I was saying. Because I think we're getting into... We're getting a little too economics with it. We should lose this one. And I think you should expect to lose a little bit on your Doberman pivots. We need tier fives. Which is real hard to get. What we want to buy is like almost exclusively just buffing foods. We don't want you. I'm sorry to say. And garlic doesn't really work here. A, a second cupcake might actually be like the play. And you would give us a level, which I actually think is worth buying, and then we could get a tier 6 out of it, and that might expedite our whole process here. But I fully expect to freaking like, lose. <laughs> not, not right now, but, like, long term. Or short term, I should say. Short term, I expect to lose. Long term, I think if the Doberman pops, we got a chance. Okay, so you, we can't run two Doberman, but we can... We, we'll sell you... Buy you, take a level, buy a tier six, okay. <laughs> buy this. And I think if this is ever gonna work, we, we need to get the Doberman going right now. I wouldn't call it like a good pivot, but it's where we stand. Now what are we, it's only tier fours in the shop right now, right? Go ahead, brother. Take some meat. Take some meat and pray. Okay. We it we can't run other tier fours. It needs to be tier fives or greater. So we'll level up the Doberman, which will give us another tier five we can add to the squad. Here we go. Please, coconut armor. <laughs> I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I lived. Okay. I, a draw was all I could have asked for. Take your level. A monkey is the perfect get there. <laughs> I would say take a salad bowl, and, and that's a buff we're, we're hoping for. Nobody really needs garlic here. I mean, this is like... We, I, <laughs> next turn, I could buy you and then sell for... Th it makes no sense. It just wastes a trigger. Okay, now a banana is kind of a nice get also because the banana can help us summon a unit, and we could pill whatever unit has the banana on it to get a, uh, to get a, a cheeky monkey. That's very nice. Okay, so our, our level 2 Doberman is doing work. Is it doing enough work? No. But we're going to have two life left. I genuinely think this can go. We just need to pay attention to our units, okay? So we kind of have to take every... Um, every tier 5 plus that exists right now. So we take a Doberman. We'll... Well, obviously. We'll take a Triceratops and just pop it down. It's just nice to have another unit with some potential upside. I think we'll give the... You get 15-15 off of it. I think I'll give this to you. And for now, I'm going to give a banana to the Triceratops. I'm not putting the Triceratops in front. I think the Doberman benefits the most from the buffs, even though it does only get the coconut armor once. Okay, it's... Listen! Ye of little faith, and now we sort of got something going here. Now, what am I paying attention to the most? I mean, this is an easy buy-sell for stats. Beluga is a, is a tier 5, which doesn't screw up our Doberman. And then we can feed... Honestly, I would be happy if you ate um, anything. If you ate a weasel, that would not bother me. That way, we, we, if we lose, at least we're getting one extra gold. And then we got, we got to a level 3 Doberman. There is a part of me that thinks, what if you tried to run Catfish Cow here? 
I'm not saying this is guaranteed by any stretch. Like, we got a long road ahead of us. We basically have one good unit, and, a, and the rest of the team is designed to just exist without destroying the Doberman's buff. But it, it's looking okay for now, obviously. Lioness is an interesting idea, too. I'm just not sure I got the stones for it. Like, I just feel like, like the... I just don't feel like you're that good. Roll me. Some meats. Like, Beluga, I think, can stick. I'm gonna... Ugh, but I just want a pillion stick. You know what? Okay, goat's gone first. I know this is an order problem, but... Not an odor problem, by the way. That's something completely different. You eat this so we don't screw up the beluga. And the Triceratops were honestly just trying to pill. Roll me. I'm just thinking. <laughs> if we got no pill, I think the Triceratops... Well, listen, we could get a... No, sell it. Sell it, brother. And then... I mean, this is, what I'm doing here is a little crazy. But I've, I'm trying to make Doberman and Catfish work, like Doberman and Catfish Cow work at the same time. I don't know if that's going to be possible. We might be straddling two different zany archetypes, but we're going to do our best. Also, you will never see a coconut armor better than that. But honestly, Kronos, if you're going to be mad about that one, you didn't see what I gave up. You didn't see what I leaned into to try to make it work, okay? So who gets this? Honestly, you're scaling too fast. If this is sticking around, what we should be scaling is, is maybe our cow. Because I can't feed the beluga without screwing up. Oh, you should actually eat this and, and spit out a death touch. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I could, I could easily feed someone a banana and then pill them. No, no, no. You get eaten. Now we got Death Touch coming out. But I'm not going to pill you. I'm happy with what you're doing for the squad right now. This is no good. This is also no good. That's unfortunate. Well, in this case, I would probably just roll. Pizza is food. It could cause you to screw up what you got in there. But you know what? That's why we freeze one of you. You also do well with a reindeer. I do definitely sort of feel like that didn't... Oh, why am I freezing food? You can't even freeze food because of the, the catfish. It's the greatest coconut armor of all time. Well, like, we, we've had smooth sailing ever since the Doberman got statted. But now we got to figure out what we're doing, you know, after this. <laughs> so you're, you're basically at max already. We should... Move someone else to the front. <laughs> no, no, but we can't. Because so many people just run their biggest unit at the front. We need to kill it with the coconut armor. That's where it looks suboptimal. I think it's optimal. Okay, buff me. Buff me. I think I'm thinking properly here. The beluga's not going anywhere. Everything's okay here. If any, a, a level two beluga spit. Oh, but you need to be closer to the front. Because you need to spit out death touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on as many potential units as possible. Okay, I'm... I don't know. I'm trying. We're, like, we're, it's definitely over, overkill on the Doberman here. But the coconut armor. I mean, have you seen how useful it's been for us? Like, it, it's been decimating entire squads all by itself. And then we, here's, here's the rest of the squad. And we win. That's my, my backup plan was necessary and it came to pass. But we, we were very close on that one, no doubt. Okay, so keep buffing your cow. And then buying your cow. And then buffing your cow. It sucks to lose the chocolate because you would... You spitting out a level two is so... Okay, we, because we have two life, I'm going to do it this way. And it is going to cost us some stats, but I think getting double death touch this turn and not destroying the chocolate when it shows up is more important. But I could be wrong. Oh, I'm realizing now as well. We don't need the catfish to level up because if the, cat, the catfish level up spends two gold to get their ability, the buyability of the unit in front of them twice. They won't let the shop hold four milk. I have it under, under good authority. Okay, you might have me on this one. Oh, but I have death touch. 
We draw these. I'll take it. And I think we got screwed on the death touch spawn. Okay, so now we got super milk. We should take it. Dude, I think we're going there. And now we'll get one level, we'll get two level two milks every turn. Or two better milks, I should say. Cow's going to the freaking moon. Cow should have a lemon for sure. That's going to solve a lot of problems for us. Beluga spitting out a level three would be totally fine. No reason to freeze foods. Okay, again, I understand the idea that we're over buffing the, the Doberman, okay? But again, we need the coconut armor up at the front just due to the composition of most squads. Now, immediately, I wouldn't say it's backfired necessarily, but this is like one of the first situations in a while where, where that strategy has been very poor. That was a really strong team. That's very smart. I got to give you some credit for the, the way you structured that one, without a doubt. Now, we got some better milk. It's crazy value. Don't think we need a tiger on this team. You always got to think about it, but I don't think we need a tiger. Horrendous. <laughs> Just absolutely god awful. Um, no. Yes, of course. You could probably make do with a steak. Finally, a second monkey. Although now I'm realizing what's the point of a second monkey. Don't kill me. I can do better. I promise. Holy cow, what a steak. But here's the death touch, baby. Don't overwrite my lemon. Actually, it worked out fine. Okay, it takes us to eight, but it's a long road to the top if you want to rock and roll. Honestly, I feel like our next step is you start... <laughs> I'm going to start buffing the, the catfish just because it's higher up in the rotation right now. We should have bought... Well, I don't know. Let's Let's see. Because if we get chocolate, we might prefer to get a level 2. No, we would not prefer to get a level 2 monkey. Use your brain. We don't need a level 2 version of you right now. You're oh, we're getting over buffed. <sighs> I'm telling you, I think that w wasting the monkey stance is not good. However, p so many people run frontline strong units that this just... Okay, we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. Well, yeah, we're probably done. We're done. Okay. I'm still happy with the, the route we took on this run, but if I could do it differently, we actually probably should have sold our monkey to run like a different tier six or something. I don't know what, or tier five for that matter. Still a good attempt with the Doberman. When you get the chance for the Doberman pivot, it's a lot of fun. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. See ya.